Hi, everybody. It's Miss Terry here. It's time for A is for Alligator, the art project. Here is Miss Laura's alligator. Her alligator is green with a red tongue and sharp, ooh, sharp teeth. These teeth are black. I wonder what that alligator's been eating. It's time for us to make our own alligators. Your alligator won't look just like Miss Laura's alligator. Your alligator will be your special alligator that you get to keep. It's your alligator, so you can make it look like you want it to look. Let's see what Miss Terry's alligator turns out like. Here is the package Miss Laura got ready for me. You should have something like this at home with you. This alligator's just white. I don't see any color on it yet. I'll have to add some color. What do you think's in here? Hmm, let me see. Oh, it's the teeth. Miss Laura cut some teeth for us to glue on our alligators inside the mouth. What do you think we're gonna need to use to make those teeth stick? Hmm, I bet we're gonna need to use some glue. Here it is, some glue. I'm gonna pour some on the plate, just like I did with my apple, if you've done that art activity already. I'll be pouring it right onto this paper plate. Maybe um, you have one at home that, that maybe a grown up in your house or your home is gonna be using. You can also use the Q-tip to dip into the glue, but I like to use my finger. I just make sure I wash it later. But before we do the glue, I think we probably better get started on the coloring. Here is my package with all my um, things that I need for art in it. I call it the starter kit. And here are the crayons. See if you have some crayons in your starter kit. I'm going to make my alligator green. What color will you use for your alligator? I'm going to start by coloring the leg, my alligator's leg. I'll show you what I mean. I colored just the leg. Maybe you could start by coloring the leg. Oh, I see there's another leg. I think I'll color that one too. I colored two legs, both legs. I think there's probably a couple legs on the other side of the alligator, but we can't really see that. All right, I think I'm going to color the top of the alligator's snout. I did it. Yours might look different and that's okay. Yours doesn't have to look just like mine. Mine won't look just like Miss Laura's. 
I think now I'm going to color the bottom of the alligator snout. Like that. I left some space here for his tongue. That's where, that's also going to be, this is also going to be where we're going to put the teeth in a little bit. But I think I'm going to use red here for the tongue. But I'm going to do that later because I'm not done with my green crayon quite yet. I'm going to wait on that part. So, so far I've done both legs. I've done the top of the snout and the bottom of the snout. I decided not to color the eye. You can color the eye if you want to. And I'm going to save this um, and make it red. But if you want to make yours green, that's okay. It's also okay if you just want to leave it white. Remember, this is your alligator. You get to do it your way. I think I might be ready to color the body of the alligator. Some kids and some grown-ups like to take a long time to make it just right. And some people like to do it kind of quick. And some people kind of do it in between. Sometimes the older you get, the longer you want to take to make it just right. Remember, it's your alligator, so do what you'd like to do. You can do just a little, save some for later, or you can ask mom and dad to hit pause for a second so you can take your time on the body. I'm going to leave that up to you and your grown-ups. I'm going to start on the body now. Do you see how I'm doing really big strokes? That's okay when you're doing big spaces. When you have big spaces to color, sometimes you need to color big, big strokes. And sometimes you go out of the lines a little bit. Do you see how I went out of the lines a little bit? That happens and it's okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, I think I'm gonna find my red crayon for the tongue now. Okie dokie, here's my red crayon. I'm gonna color the tongue the inside of the mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and put my crayons aside. I'm gonna put them away for now because I'm done with my coloring. If you're not quite done yet, you can ask mom or dad or your grown up to hit pause and make the video wait for you so you can finish. That's up to you. All right, I'm gonna get my plate of glue ready. Here I go. All right, I'm sticking my finger in. And I'm gonna get glue. I'm gonna start with the top the top of the snout and get some teeth up there, the top of his mouth. And I'm gonna put a bunch of glue up there so I have plenty of room for my teeth. Can you see how I got glue all over? See how it's kind of shiny? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. See how I put lots of glue on the top and the bottom inside his mouth? Now that's where I'm gonna put the teeth. I'm gonna start putting them on now. All right. Do you see the teeth I put at the top? 
I have all the teeth that go on the top of his mouth. Now I need to do the bottom of his mouth. I did it. I did all the teeth in the alligator's mouth. I enjoyed making an alligator with you today. I hope you enjoyed it too. Keep working if you're not finished yet and we'll do another art activity next week. Thanks so much. Bye.